bike trains. Well, yes. You can't rush it, and you can get plenty of work done, I suppose. At well, the same I suppose time, so, today. yeah. OK, well, today I travelled in uh, on the train as well, a train owned uh, by this man, Richard Branson, who will be joining us very shortly, live from New York. But first of all, on that journey that I had, I had a chat with some of his passengers. I'm going to take the West Coast Main Line down to work today to see what people on board think of the franchise fiasco. I think the rail network is too complicated. I think the whole ticketing system is too complicated. I think privatisation, privatisation can be good, but only in the right companies. I can't believe the amount of money it costs to go through a tender process. Yeah. And then secondly, I'm disappointed that um, um, the Virgin, initially at least, have lost the franchise. Well, these trains are generally good, but uh, the price of the train tickets are ridiculous to start with. What's your question for Richard Branson? Why shouldn't we bring back British Rail? Well, how much do you take as profit per customer, and how much goes to the government's tax, and shouldn't some of that go back into the trains and maybe provide a better service? Is there a way to simplify the pricing structure so it's not so complex, because it just takes too long looking at all the different prices? Well, Sir Richard, I have to say, first of all, uh, on the whole, everybody was very, very positive about the travel. Um, but what about Eugene's point, first of all? Why shouldn't we renationalise the railways and bring back British Rail? Um, anyway, good to talk to you. Um, Fifteen years ago, if people can remember that uh, far back, uh, British Rail um, ran the West Coast Main Line, and uh, it was dilapidated. Uh, the trains did break down all the time. Uh, it wasn't a great experience, and only about 10 million people used them. Um, and I think over the last 15 years, the team at Virgin Trains have transformed that rail network. Um, we've now got uh, three times as many people, 32 million people using them. And I think over, over the next uh, 10 years, we can get that up to about 50 million people. Uh, lots less people using cars, lots of, lots of people using the trains. Um, and by and large, I think people um, are, happy, are happy with the experience. I'm sure there's still areas we can improve on, but it, but it is completely and utterly different to, wh to, to when it was run um, by, by the government. Okay. Uh, governments are not that great at running companies. Okay, well, last year was the first time that you repaid a premium to the government, but one of your customers would like to know, why should we pay a subsidy and then you make a profit? Uh, it's a good question. I mean, before... Virgin took over, uh, it was costing the government billions to run uh, the West Coast Main Line. Um, we have offered to pay the government uh, over 11 billion over, over the length of the new franchise. So um, because there's so many extra passengers actually using the West Coast franchise, um, instead of it um, being subsidized by uh, the taxpayer, uh, the taxpayer now can literally get bil billions back. And, and you know, that's because we've managed to get so many extra people to use the trains. And so, Richard, is it possible to simplify the price structure? I mean, so many people that I talk to are saying, you know, one day it costs this, another day it costs this, it's cheaper online than it is buying from the counter. Well, the, the, what we've tried to do uh, is to compete with airlines, bring in, bring in air, airline t type of uh, travel so that, you know, elderly people, students who don't have to travel uh, at peak times like the, bus the business person has to, uh, can get really cheap fares. And, uh, and the average fare on Virgin is actually very low. But if you, you know, effectively what's happening is that businesses who um, have their bi business travelers traveling at the peak times are subsidizing us to, to be able to bring in really cheap travel at, when, when, the pl when the trains are often r reasonably empty. So I think you do need uh, you, know, you do need that mixture, otherwise what happens is uh, you just have massive overcrowding um, and, uh, and people standing uh, you know, at, at peak times. So what we're trying to do is spread uh, the amount of people out throughout the day. Okay, thank you very much, Richard. Thanks for joining. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> nice to talk to you. <laughs> have a good time. Now the RSPCA.